today on the workbench, we have a high flow intake system for a Porsche Macan made by Flat Six Motorsports. So today on the workbench, we're doing something a little different. Uh, in this box are car parts, but they are not RC car parts. They are full-size car parts. Uh, we are going to be installing a high flow intake system into a Porsche Macan for this video. Uh, for those of you that have subscribed and been watching for a while, you know that we mostly do uh, RC videos and some 3D printing, but want to do something a little bit different and uh, branch out and try my hand at wrenching on a full-size car. So purchase this. Uh, my wife uh, actually purchased it for me as a gift, and she may actually even be a guest in the video later. No promises. We're going to see if uh, if she shows up to help us install this. But for those of you that have subscribed, thank you very much. And for those of you that are watching that haven't subscribed, please subscribe because the more subscribers I have and the more people like these videos, the more my wife will purchase things like this for me to put on the RC cars as well as the full size cars. I, I just like cars, whether they're small or big. So anyway, uh, this seems pretty cool. This is. Uh, um, made by Flat Six Motorsports, who are down in Florida. John, the owner of Flat Six Motorsports, is awesome, super communicative, not sponsored in any way, paid full price for this, asked him some questions. He responded like super quickly, really, really helpful. So I could not recommend their customer service enough. Their shipping was fast. Um, but in this is um, two air filters and a high flow system that should change the intake for a 2018 Porsche Macan. Um, it's a twin turbo, so there's two of them in here. Um, I did have to purchase more tools. We know I love to purchase more tools, so apparently it only needs this. This is a T25 Torx, so hopefully this is all I need to install it. I watched a bunch of videos. Uh, it looks really, really simple. Uh, should only be about 20 minutes, so I'm hoping I can get it done in an hour. Uh, my wife said she might help, but in the meantime, I figured we would do a quick unboxing on this, go take a look at the car, maybe film what it sounds like and you know what it does now, and then put in this filter system and see if it changes the sound in any way. And you know, I don't think we're gonna notice any horsepower gains or anything like that. If it's not on a dyno and it doesn't have a tune, that's not why I'm doing this. I don't have any, you know, I, I, I don't have any false hopes that suddenly it's gonna be noticeably faster, but I think it's cool. And I just wanted to do it. And this is in preparation for other things that we're gonna be doing to the car, so I thought I'd start with this, but I, I have no illusions that suddenly dropping in these air filters are gonna you know, radically change anything. But it is a fun little project, so let's take a look at what's in the box and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so let's start this unboxing. It's packaged really well, got a lot of bubble wrap. Oh, very cool, flat six motorsports sticker. You know we love stickers. Oh, here's John, the owner's contact information. He is amazing, was really, really responsive, so uh, I couldn't recommend them anymore. Flat Six Motorsports, uh, specializing in Porsche performance parts. So let's take a look here. So looks like the first thing we have here is the composite plastic uh, rim that goes around the airbox. I did not get the um, carbon fiber ones. I thought the composite was fine. Uh, it's 3D printed. You can see the 3D printing lines. It's pretty cool. Uh, feels pretty flexible and rigid. I'm not sure what kind of 3D printing uh, this is. Is it PETG? Is it ABS? I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, that's 3D printed there. Here's the second one, because like I said, it is a, it is a twin turbo. Uh, uh, the, the carbon fiber looks pretty cool. It's a little more money, but it was, uh, it was out of stock at the time when I ordered it, but I don't feel that I need the carbon fiber. So it looks like the next thing in here is here is one of the air filters. So you'll notice it's, it's a slightly different shape than the, uh, than the OEM one. I, once I take the OEM one out, I'll, I'll do a comparison. Uh, also in here is a second um, air filter in here. And that, I believe, is everything yeah there's nothing else in the box so it is that simple so again i've watched a video uh, i saw john i think john was the one that actually did on the video and he did it in about 20 minutes so i'm hoping if i can do it in an hour but my understanding is you just take off the rubber gasket you unscrew four screws from each of them you slide in the new ones you screw them back in you put the new rubber the rubber gasket back on and you're good to go so i don't know let's go check out the car and uh let's take off the old system and let's put on the new system All right, so believe it or not, we have a special guest today. Right over my shoulder is Jane. That's my wife. She paid for this and she's gonna help us install it. So we're going to remove 
this and this from the car. I bought a Torx wrench here. That is what we're gonna use to remove it. My understanding is it's just four simple screws. So, let's get started. So you can see the difference between the two. The Flat 6 Motorsports one is all open, and this one has this plastic piece, and you'll see if you take the air filter out, how much more airflow we're going to get. So this came out, then this comes open, and if you look, you'll see, when you open this guy, how much more, how much more airflow there is. See, this guy's got hard plastic at the top and the bottom, and the flat six is all open. So Jane, if you hang on to that. My understanding is this guy goes in here. And there you have it. So these guys are installed. I'm gonna go start the car, we'll see what happens. Well, that was really easy, much easier than I expected. Um, it sounds really good. I took it for a drive just now, and I think it's a little louder. You can kind of hear a whooshing. I mean, I don't really notice any, you know, gains as far as speed or anything like that. Not that I expect to. Although, I have talked to John from Flat 6. So once I get the Cobb access port and I get the tune that takes advantage of this high flow intake system, I do have a feeling I'm going to notice some uh, marked uh, difference in the way the car drives. So anyway, thank you as always for watching. Please, uh, if you like what we're doing this channel, uh, both RC and as we start to branch out, maybe to uh, real full-size cars, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, as you saw, uh, my wife is being much more receptive since people are subscribing, so thank you and all of those commenting and liking. You know, you saw she was in the video. Uh, wasn't sure if it was gonna happen, but she came, she helped out. She is really kind of coming around to this uh, craziness that I have going on with this channel. So again, thank you very much. Please, uh, our next video will probably be uh, working on the TT-02. If you haven't seen what we did with that, I'll, I'll put a link up there to what we did with the TT-02, but that, uh, that Tamiya car has a bunch of new parts and we are gonna get that brushless system back in there and running uh, in our next video. So thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.